Welcome to this next video on the update on the ACE3 controller. On the screen at the moment, just showing a diagram of some of the work that needs to be carried out or has been carried out in preparing the circuit board for the controller. And in this next uh, screenshot, you'll see the, uh, the brains of the system on screen. This is uh, everything that's been designed and uh, heading to the factory in order to manufacture the, the brain boards. But going forward, we want to have a little look at this, which I promised more in detail. The track diagram mode, a very key feature that's going to be introduced to the controller, the ability to draw your own track diagram, uh, put points, signals and other accessories on there and control them from the screen, uh, thereby making it uh, an all-in-one controller. Uh, so this image is just uh, one of the ideas of how it could look, hasn't got all the features on. One of the other ideas is to be able to have it so that uh, you'll be able to design your layout on a computer and then download it to the ACE few areas being looked at. Uh, if anyone has any particular ideas of their own of how they'd like it to look, any visuals, um, that sort of thing, then please, please do get in contact uh, either by giving us a call or sending us an email at sales at glrailways.com. So the other feature that was mentioned was the loco list. And here we see what uh, it's going to look like on the right hand side of the controller. Uh, the ability to scroll up and down through your locos that are saved on there, select them without having to uh, remember numbers or anything like that, which uh, we think would be rather useful. Um, one of the abilities you want to have is to be able to flick the loco list on or off and replace it with the number pad and also put it on either side of the screen. So we're going to be getting a look at the software uh, that does this and be able to play around with it and uh, going to be uh, putting up in the next video, hopefully, some of the uh, ideas we've got with how the user interface can look. Um, if you, again, have any particular thoughts on anything you want included on that, uh, any sort of visual things, any additional things, then do let us know because we'll put that um, or try it out and put it on the software and then uh, provide an update with that um, and the good thing is even post release we'll be able to do updates and uh, uh, put in new features and enhancements uh, and so on. So not a massive update at this stage, however there's some exciting things to come, but it's worth looking at where we've come from in the product development timeline and where we're uh, aiming to get to. So uh, last time we were on the testing stage uh, in quarter two 2023 with component changes, pleased to say we've jumped on slightly along there now and we're heading towards the assembly stage, uh, which is very exciting because as soon as those parts come we can start putting everything together. Um, I can say that all the cases for the controller have, are being machined at the moment. We've got labels, we've got screens, and it's just this main circuit board. And once all that uh, uh, arrives, then it's going to be assembly and uh, putting the uh, firmware on and trying it out. So we are getting really close to a release now. With this in mind, we're looking at doing another update video on or around the 22nd of June, uh, hopefully showing uh, some actual hardware and also a look at the firmware that's going to be going on the machines and possibly even some more information on the uh, delivery dates. So stay tuned and see you on the next video.